So over the last couple of weeks or so, I've been teaching a whole load of these Lakota songs. Dead simple, dead easy songs that were taught to me about 25 years ago by the Oglala medicine man, Ed Magar Eagleman. Uh, Ed died, mm, what, about two years ago, something like that. And uh, he was he was a, a, a real interesting guy. His Facebook account is still open, um, so you can uh, you can go and search for him if you wish to. Um, so I've been singing these songs, simple ones that you can sing yourself. Ed gave permission for them to be taught. Uh, I've had a little bit of flack from some Native American people for uh, and and other cultures too for for sharing them, but they were designed for everybody, and um, it's okay for you to sing them. Um, but you know, with any sacred song, treat it with respect. It's 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 not a kind of fun sing along thing. There are lots of Native American social songs out there. Uh, and many people sing those and, and you know, that that's kind of different. These are sacred songs and you're, you're singing to sacred powers. So hold them in respect and sing them because you need to sing them or you wish to express gratitude or whatever. But don't just sing them for the hell of it. So I wanted to kind of finish this whole cycle of Lakota songs by teaching a little bit about ways to use them in a ceremonial way. A daily practice way now and not just a daily practice you know a practice when you need it to be uh, so I've been singing the four direction songs and the the easiest way is for you to work with those is to simply face the directions each day and sing the song for each of those directions so itogaga oye for the south and Weo Piata Oye for the West and Wazia Oye for the North and Weo Hiapa for the East. And you can face those so you turn around. It's like you turn around and you face each of those directions and you sing them and you visualize yourself standing in the middle of the world. And Remember, there's grandfather up above you, Tungashila Oye, and there is grandmother, Mother Earth, beneath you, Ina Maka. So you're standing in those six directions, in the centre, in the in the crosshairs of the sight of the universe. <laughs> Yeah, that's really, really, you know, you're on target. I mean, I'm kind of playing around with the, the imagery there, but actually that's what it's about. It's about putting yourself in target for the universe, for spirit, for the connection to everything. And the more you are in target, the more you are connected. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a playful metaphor, but it's also a true one. So that's that's the easiest, okay? So you can simply face the direction and you can make a prayer for that direction. You can make a prayer for the day. Hey, oh, south powers, south powers. Hey, this little one. Ah, oh, I'm asking, this This little one is asking in a sacred manner. I'm asking for help with this day. Hey, oh, hey, oh, south, south powers, south winds. Please help me. Please help me walk a good earth road today. And then you turn around and you go, west winds. Hey, oh, west winds. Hey, oh, sacred ones, grandfathers. I'm asking, I'm asking, this little one is asking, I'm asking for guidance, I'm sending this prayer to you in a sacred manner, I'm asking for help here. Hey, oh, west winds, please look upon me, please help me at this time. And you face the north and the east and you do exactly the same, you do the above and the below. Hey, 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 grandfather, grandfather, hey, oh, sacred ones, sky powers, I'm asking here, I'm asking, this little one is asking for help here, this little one is asking to... To know how to do what I have to do today. Hey, oh, sacred ones, please have pity upon me. I need some help here. I'm just a two-legged. I'm pretty dumb. I don't know anything. Please help me. Hey, oh, grandmother. Grandmother, thank you for all that I've got here. Thank you for my clothes. Thank you for this feather I'm holding. Thank you for my hands and the breath that comes out of my mouth and my speech. 
Hey, grandmother, thank you for this floor that I'm patting. Thank you for the feet that's walking on it. So we're grateful all the time. So you face those directions and you can sing those songs. You can sing the songs to kind of get you in the zone, as it were, to each of the directions. If you haven't got a lot of time, then you can sing um, the just the song to the four winds. Tatova oye, tatova oye. So it's like you're singing for all of those around you in the circle. Or you could go chape oye. You could sing that song because that's the six. So these these are kind of... You know, you've got busy lives. You've got busy lives. Maybe you can't spend an hour doing practice. So, you know, you just do a little bit and you can you can sort of almost hum that to yourself if you need to feel connected while you're kind of walking to work or walking to the office or walking to, to the shops or bathing the kids or, you know, whenever life is a struggle for you, remember that the spirits are there and you can call to them. You can ask them. You can ask them to help you. So that's that's the most simple, simple, day, you know, daily practice. Um, on my own Facebook page yesterday, I shared a milk offering ceremony, very much in the style of Mongolia, where you 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 throw milk to each of the directions and the above and the below. It's the same stuff. It's the same stuff. You are simply, simply asking for help and putting yourself in the very center and you know <laughs> this um I'm, I'm kind of hearing my mother about sort of yo don't put yourself in the center of things no do put yourself in the center of things in the sacred center of things it's so important it's the place to be it's literally being centered really important thing and i wanted to share another another kind of simple thing to do which is, um, I, I walk with a sacred pipe. I've been a pipe carrier for the last 30 odd years. And not everybody is caught for the pipe. And some people feel they are caught to do the pipe, but they haven't got a pipe. And, you know, it's, it's a kind of a big responsibility and it's a big step. But there's, uh, there's a tobacco ceremony that I wanted to share, which is sort of similar to, I'm rummaging in my herb bag. This is my my pipe herb bag uh it's uh it's a copy of a bag i think it's a crow crow nation bag i copied it years ago did the the beadwork of all the little vegetable bits and whatever the plant details on it made of beadwork anyway that's all besides the point i'm just rummaging in it because i want some herbs so i'm going to get some sage and i'm going to put some sage in my smudge bowl so, you know, for smudging, as it were, and I'm going to get some tobacco, a little bit of tobacco. The rattling of plastic. Where would we be without plastic? In some respects, a lot better off. In some respects, a lot worse off. Here we go. This is the tobacco that I use. which is kind of very different to uh, to the tobacco that you'll kind of get in tobacconists very often, especially in the UK. This is, this is the remains of a long hank that went right round in a sort of plait, and it's just leaves, it's just the tobacco leaves, grown ceremonially, organic, whatever. I don't smoke, um, I never have. I always think smoking is a fairly horrible kind of social habit but the, the the pipe i do smoke but the tradition with the pipe is that the smoke belongs to spirit so i just breathe it into my mouth if it goes further than my mouth i cough and splutter and go green um but the smoke belongs to spirit in a pipe ceremony so it's kind of not like smoking in the normal way but i do use tobacco because of the native american training that i've had as a sacred herb it's a giveaway so what I've got here is a little bit of tobacco that I broke off that, that hank. And I'm going to light the smudge. And you can all do this. This is an alternative simple ceremony for the pipe. 
you can do this by yourself you can do this if you've got other people around you know in a circle it's very simple so i'm just lighting the smudge here all right that's going enough that's going enough there you have a smudge so in a pipe ceremony what you do is you fill the bowl of the pipe with little bits of tobacco and and other herbs too none of which are mind altering but you are asking the spirits to to help you so this this is a tobacco ceremony where you do exactly the same basically you will hold the tobacco and you will call to each of the four winds and you can sing their songs you can sing their songs and you ask those spirits to help you make your prayers hey oh hey oh hey oh hey oh Oh, South Powers, Grandfathers, Grandfathers, this little one is asking you in a sacred manner to help me make good prayers here at this time. Prayers for all life. Hey, 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 etc, etc, etc. You're asking the powers to help you. Hey, oh, Grandfather, Grandfather, Grandfather. Hey, thank you for this day. Thank you for the blue sky up there. Hey, hey, Grandfather, I'm asking that you help us, help me. Help us make good prayers. Good prayers for all life at this time. Hey, old grandmother, grandmother, thank you for all these things here. Thank you for all these things. I'm asking that you help us make good prayers here. Prayers for all life. And you put the tobacco down into the smudge. And maybe you need to light it a bit more so you light it again. So you're making a tobacco offering. And then you can hold the smudge bowl. And you can actually make your prayers over it as if it was a pipe. So this is this is a simple tobacco prayer ceremony. There are other ways of doing it. Different cultures, different Native American cultures will do it in different ways. This is just a sort of universal, simple way that you can do it. So you take a little pinch of tobacco. You put it with some smudge. You don't need to use the smudge, but the smudge is a good way of helping it burn. And uh, and smudging, of course, which is important. So you put the tobacco in there and you make your prayers. You make your prayers across your pretend pipe, if you like. Yeah, it's it's your heart pipe. It's your it's your smudge bowl here. So you're making your prayers with it. The tobacco. The tradition is that the tobacco takes your prayers up to spirit. You know, it, it, it kind of, smoke is this strange thing. It's kind of there, but it's not, and then it dissipates. So that's part of the tradition. And, and the tradition with tobacco is that native cultures say that it spirits like it. it. It attracts spirits. So you make your prayers. If you've got a circle of people around you, they can all make their prayers. And you pass the bowl round clockwise, sunwise until it comes round again to you. That's just like it would be done in a pipe ceremony. I think you've probably got the idea there. I think that's probably enough. And remember those, those other songs. You know, um, when you do a ceremony or you make a prayer, you're saying it, you're doing it for all your relations. So you can sing, Matakoye. Metakoye, 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 etc., etc. And remember, Pilamia, Pilamia, thank you. Pilamia, oye, Pilamia, oye, Pilamia, oye. You don't really need to sing oye on that one, it's just Pilamia, 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 Pilamia. You're grateful, you have a kind of attitude of sacredness, you ask the powers to help you, and you live your life. So, yeah, I think that's all I need to say. Thank you for listening. I'll catch you around. Have a good day. Bye-bye.